The CFL Scouting Combine in Toronto on the weekend brought the top 55 Canadian amateurs for close scrutiny prior to the Canadian draft. Linebacker Bo Lacombo of the Oregon Ducks was considered the number one future CFL draft pick, but a week earlier the league held for the first time regional combines in Edmonton and Quebec City. But we feel there's, there's enough good kids out there that uh, we don't want to leave any stone unturned. The expansion draft, they're going to steal at least one guy from each of the existing teams, and really we we need to, each team's playing with 20 Canadians on their roster, so that's going to be 20 new jobs. The future Ottawa expansion draft aside, all CFL teams attend combines, coaches and scouts. Even Gizmo Williams watched in Edmonton with Eskimos coaches. At least one scout per team. Some teams have two, three, four, uh, which is great. Uh, everything is, is being uh, videotaped, so everything from their testing this morning to their on-field drills. Uh, everybody's looking for something different. Everybody's looking for guys who are quick, who are fast, who are strong, who can move, uh, and they, they want to see how they carry themselves. Adding two new combine stops to Canadian Football League scouting is a good thing, especially for players like Alberta Golden Bears members. I'm trying to show them that I am athletic and I can uh, play every, any position that they need me to, especially special teams, try and sh showcase my athletic ability mostly. Ill. Canadian quarterbacks are becoming more skilled and more heavily scouted than in recent years. Strong-armed Alberta passer Curtis Dell drew attention here. Especially in the last couple of years, the CIS quality has been you know, far greater and a little bit more recognized, um, especially with some of the quarterbacks coming out from out east. Definitely gives you uh, a little bit more inclination and assumption that you know you got a shot here. So yeah, More hope than ever, right? Yeah, definitely. Numbers are one thing, the testing's a, you know, a good quality of it, but really the on-field application I think is the most important. I mean, numbers are good and everything, but you know, if you can't translate onto the field, then you know, you're kind of at square one still. So Curtis Dell did not receive an invitation to the Toronto Combine, nor did other Golden Bears. Conversely, five Calgary Dinos and one Calgary Junior were. It's been a matter of structure and coaching and all that. With Ottawa coming in in 2014, um, that's another 25, 30 jobs, and we, we got to find these guys. And, and this is going to be a perfect avenue. The CIS programs have, have gotten better, and there's more and more kids coming out. And uh, that's, that's obviously a benefit to everybody. Indeed, the search for talent never ends. Meanwhile, in local sport, in the Western Hockey League, live on Shaw TV, it's the Saskatoon Medicine Hat Series, Game 3 and 4, Tuesday and Wednesday, in Medicine Hat. Other Western Hockey League playoffs, Game 5, if necessary, in the Kootenay-Edmonton series would be here Friday at 7. And in the NHL, Thursday, 7.30, Columbus and the Oilers. I'm Tim Dancy.